over here at Next Level Guitar, making some funny faces, right? Hopefully, getting the emotion out, bringing it to you through the camera. We're gonna do a fun lesson today. Great, great blues-inspired lesson. And we're gonna do a classic style and or feel, and we're gonna talk about how to get started with being comfortable enough to solo over these kind of uh, progressions and riffs and make it your own so you can jam at home and get to it, people. That's the main thing. Hey, everybody. Before I forget, click on that link below that you see in the YouTube text box. What do you get with that link, Miles? You get a coinciding ebook full of chord diagrams and scales. Most importantly, you get a free video. It's not available on YouTube. And all you gotta do is just click on the link that you see below. Miles, let's do it. All right. So, here is our riff that we're gonna talk about. All right, so we're gonna break this down into certain components. Uh, you could use a pick, you could use your fingers. You might notice I'm gonna do a little bit of both here, which I will point out as the lesson goes on. But the first thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna show you how we do these notes here. I'm gonna hit my G, I'm gonna hit my D string open and hammer to the E on the fourth string. Really easy. I like to use my thumb and my first finger for this because I feel like I get a better tone doing it that way. The plastic is a little, I don't know, man, it's a little crisp. I can just hear the percussiveness of it, and I don't really want to get that across as much. I want to think of the fatter sound that I get from using my fingers and the flesh on my hand. So I'm going to pop that note on the D, though. Kind of a nice roundness to it, almost like a, a bass guitar a little bit. Then I'm going to hit that high E string. Just start with that. Three, four way to get started and that's how we're gonna round this thing out that's a, of course just something simple that you see all the time and I'm stretching that note basically to sound like a little bit of the blue scale that you get in that open position so when I go it's bringing me up here to that A sharp and or that B flat to give me that sound. And then we can't forget that. That's gonna help me kind of mimic my snare and keep me in time. A Little bit of reverb on there and it kind of has a nice effect to it and the notes last a little bit longer. I gotta say, reverb is so important. All my students at home that play with no reverb and they try to do some of these things, you know your notes just die out really, really quick. It's a good test for the feeling side of things. If you could play just with a dry tone and get, you know, feel like you've accomplished what your goal is, then that's by all means totally great. But I like to have a little bit of reverb on there so I feel like my notes last longer and I have a better sense of tone and strength uh, coming off the guitar just all the way around. And it covers up your mistakes. <laughs> Now you gotta get your foot tapping when you're doing this. If you don't have a hardwood floor, put something your foot can tap on that's nice and loud and gives you that nice driving beat. So with this, what can we do? There's a lot of things that we could do here that we could work in, and this is going to be the point of the practice. We have a really great lick. comfortably or comfortably solo around this so I'm gonna point out a couple of things that we could use really simple lick right there I'm gonna slide in with my middle finger from A to B phrase. 
So that way I have enough space at the top of the riff to do a little bit of soloing and come back to what is established. And that way I can work on a new lick, try to insert it, play the rhythm, do another lick and insert it, and so begins my sense of jamming and improv, right? Improv comes from trusting your subconscious. So we want to start with really easy ones to plug in. As I said, that's a great one to do. Just a really nice position there. And I'm doing this scale. Let's learn a new scale here. Still E minor pentatonic. But we're using these high strings. And the fact that when I play to this third finger, this is an E note as well, so it gives it some resolution. Do that again. Great little bend, double stop. talk about some jumping around now and see if we can get up here and do some simple things. Nice little blues lick. So we're getting our introduction into blues. We're starting very simply. We're taking a classic kind of a riff, riff or rhythm. We're jamming a really fun riff, a classic sound, and we're going to insert some basic ideas behind it that make us feel good. What were they? We had a double stop here. We had a double stop here. We had this nice kind of movement. And we're just inserting it into something that has a lot of feel. I'll end the lesson with this. For all of you who might say, uh, can we do more with it? When I was younger, I'll distinctly remember this. I was sitting in my house, and I played this riff for two hours straight. I'm not even kidding. My mom finally comes in the room. It was a, a, literally two hours that I just played that same riff. And my mom comes in the room, and she goes, what, in, what are you doing? Play a song. What is that? And she was a fan of blues guitar playing. And I told her, I said, Mom, every single time I'm doing this, I'm doing this different. Can't you hear the difference in it? She thought I was a crazy person. I don't know. Maybe that's food for you. But you could take these licks and you could play them different every time. And put your feeling behind it, put your emotion into it. And you sit in your room and accomplish all these great things. And you know what? It's better than being some thug kid somewhere, right? Can I say that on camera? I don't know. We're just doing <laughs> I don't know if it works. But we're doing good things for good people and we're inspiring lifestyles. Yes. Hopefully that came across. I don't know. We'll see it in the edit. Everybody, go to the website, nextlevelguitar.com. Fun lessons, good times, a lot of good people with good instruction. I will see you there, and thank you so much for checking it out.